What would you pick? Let's say I have chocolate, a little box of chocolate here right now. And I say, I can give you this chocolate right now if you want it. Or if you're willing to wait a week, I will give you a larger box of chocolate. What typically happens in this context when we ask people what chocolate they prefer? Generally, the idea of getting it now is very powerful. I see some smiles up in the front. You kind of cave and you're like, yeah, I want that now, right? What happens when we postpone this decision, when we push it to the future and we say, I will give you a small box of chocolate in a year or a large box of chocolates in a year plus a week. What happens here? People tend to say, oh yeah, a year plus another week. Of course, why would I not just, it's just an extra week. And the first example, it's still a week, right? But this power, this idea of a week and its value and whether it's worth waiting has a very different answer in the present than in the future. Uh, and this is called hyperbolic discounting. So this is why we do stupid things like texting and driving, right? Because this immediate value of the now. Anyone guilty of texting and driving? Come on. I've done it. <laughs> so that's why we do stupid things like that, right? Because this immediate like, gratification of texting overrides anything future, right? Uh, same thing with the muffin, right? We know that if I eat this muffin, it's probably not good for my waistline. It's probably not good for my health. But the impacts of that is down the road, right? I'm not going to feel that now. What am I going to get right now? Oh, this delicious tasting muffin. And that overrides. The present overrides the future. The, pre the, the future is discounted as compared to the present, right? So there's different types of benefits that we can think about and on two different axes. So if we think about future versus now, we were talking about how now is quite powerful. And then we can also think about two different categories, hedonic benefits, which is pleasurable benefits, and then functional ones. Now, in a perfect world, you want to be over here, right? This is a really great and easy space to be in. If your product category is here, I'm sorry to say for you all, you are more here in this challenging category because you're a functional product and you're, it's, uh, it's not a want, it's a need, and I need this uh, tomorrow, right? It's, it's, it's not, you're not in the category, you're not in the realm of chocolates. Now, the good news here is, you, even if your core product, at the, basic, the basic reason for being is here, there are ways to think about adding product features and how you're talking about a product that are in these other categories. And they're quite powerful, right? So let's think about something as boring as brushing our teeth. What's the real reason we should brush our teeth? What's the purpose of brushing our teeth? Make sure they don't decay, right? So we don't have gum disease. And like if we never brushed our teeth ever again, we'd probably get some kind of gum disease, our teeth would fall out, it would be terrible. But on a day-to-day -day basis, is that really why we brush our teeth? Is that super motivating? Like, I don't want to get gum disease, that's why I brush my teeth. Not necessarily. But if we look at the other benefits, the real turning point of when brushing teeth became a normal twice a day type of behavior was when the toothpaste manufacturers added the mint flavor. No one says that toothpaste, it doesn't, now we're used to it, right? It's hard for anyone to think of toothpaste tasting like anything else. But it could have been, it could have tasted like, you know, cough syrup. It could have tasted gross. But this immediate pleasure of like, oh, I have minty fresh breath. The other benefit here is it also frames you as, you know, social, more socially acceptable, socially desirable. You're not that guy who has the bad breath, right? And that's important to us, and that has value. Another one is white teeth for pictures. Toothpaste manufacturers are all about talking about white teeth. This one isn't quite as powerful in terms of the now, right? Because if you brush your teeth right this second, it's not like you're magically going to get white teeth. It's going to happen in the future, but it is a hedonic thing. It plays to our ego, and that has a lot of power. 